Hi guys, welcome to Foodie Gardening. It's fair to say that the garden is in a bit of a state right now. I just need to get on top of it. There are a few things that are poking through. I've got broad beans, the fruit bushes are looking good, the rhubarb and the strawberries are. The things that keep coming up every year, but things that are going in this year, I really need to get the ground ready for them. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna start with doing some digging. I think it looks bad, but I don't think any of these roots are too deep. Next door have really tidied up their garden and it is putting mine to shame though, so let's get started. I was planning on having this patch of clover between the arches as like a turf and it has gone like a turf it's really thick underneath but it's got some mint in it and some other bits I think that could be a buddleia I'm not sure if I want to get out anyway the clover is a good nitrogen fixer so I'm just going to dig it back in check out the roots on this dock too bad it's not a prize winning carrot or turnip I got it all out in one piece I'm also pretty excited about this. This is a goji berry. I thought it was dead, but it's got lots of green coming on it. All the way down, there's like another another stick coming up here. Three, in fact. So I need to get this um, well staked up, I think, and work on getting the dandelions out of here. Well, so far I have dug out this stretch of the garden which goes up to where the purple sprouting broccoli is i've got these metal i've got these wire frames which they were actually left at the allotment when we took it on and i brought them home with us when we gave up the plot um and in here i have put peas these are a sugar snap pea so i've just dotted them along the edge and i'm going to cover them over on the other three I have put Calvadon Wonder. The peas for that though, they're actually past their sow by date so I've sowed them really thickly and hopefully enough will come through to go along these little frames and I'll thin them out if they all germinate. I'm not expecting them to. So I'm going to cover these over and cover them with eggshells as well to stop the slugs getting for them. The other thing with peas I have to watch out for is birds so I'll see what I can do about that as well. This is my big tub of eggshells that I was saving. I think I need to get back on and save some more. The secret I found with the eggshells is that it's got to be quite thick and you do need to top it up after it rains because when it gets wet the slugs will still slide over it. And these are those rows all finished off. Once the purple sprouting broccoli has finished I'm going to plant another row where that is and I've got one more piece of fence to go there. The garden is going to take more than one session to get done. I wanted to show you this handbook that I got of David Austin Roses. So it's kind of like their catalogue that they sent out. But it's also a really nice introduction to roses. It tells you all the different types of um, ways the petals can be. Uh, there's a section about fragrance types. And then when you look up the roses, there's all different ways to look them up. So you can look them up by colour. Um, you can look them up by fragrance. It tells you how to take care of them, what you should be feeding them with. It's a really interesting read. Much more than just a catalogue of what they sell. I've actually learned quite a bit about roses and quite fancy some for the garden myself. This is where I'm up to with the garden so far. If this weather stays nice, I'm hoping to be back with lots more garden updates. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.